Hey, what's going on guys? Tom here. It's been so long since I've last seen you guys in the last video. I've been MIA due to a lot of military training in just these past couple months. So I'm finally getting back to start making more videos on the regular. I know I promised you guys last time that I would do a Q&A video. For those that are interested and those that have been already accepted, I wanna be able to provide any clarity to some of those questions that you guys have. By the way, some of these answers to these questions are gonna be my opinion only. This is some of the things that I think might be beneficial and maybe it might not. All right, so let's begin. First question is from Kellen. He says he's interested in attending West Point for college and was wondering what kinds of extracurricular activities that would be good for his application. A very popular question, what is the best thing you can do to make yourself a more competitive candidate for West Point? point. Well, there's a lot of things that you can do, honestly. The first thing that West Point's looking for is great academics. Having a good GPA shows you are a strong academic scholar. It shows that you put in the time and the effort to, to keep in those good grades. And of course, being a critical thinker is something that West Point is looking for. However, outside of having a good GPA, you're going to have a pretty good standardized exam score, whether that be the ACT or the SAT. I will list that right here here as the scores that are currently competitive for West Point. But like I said, you wanna have the highest as possible because a lot of the other candidates that are gonna be competing will have a similar score. If you play any sports, this is a good way to show that you are a team player, that you're part of a team, that you're working cohesively with other people, that you're disciplined and you're working on practicing and mastering that skill, whatever sport it may be, and that you are maintaining your physical fitness and that you're able to work at something that's much higher at a competitive level. So sports is pretty good. If you are on a sports team, start working your way towards a leadership position that's on that team, whether it be a co-captain, captain. Once you meet that that level, it shows that, you know, one, you're very qualified to be able to be a part of that team and contribute. But also being a leader on that team shows initiative and shows that you're willing to take on the brunt of the work to keep that team together, to push that team towards a common goal and eventually towards uh, victory and success. And that's not just exclusive to sports teams. I mean, any leadership position that you can take on at any level, whether it be student union, National Honor Society, being a leader in your community, it really just shows that you're going to step up and that you're going to take on some of these positions that's going to require you to make decisions that will affect a, a larger group of people rather than yourself. And uh, starting early will definitely help facilitate with that and will definitely make you a more competitive candidate. As far as leadership positions go, to make yourself have a well-rounded application, you're going to want to be able to show you're not just particularly good at one thing. You're not focused on just academics. You're not focused just on physical fitness. It's a combination of everything. And I think that is what the best candidate is. It's one that's well-rounded, one that is able to manage their time effectively and really balance all these different elements. So as you see, like West Point has three pillars too, you know, academic, physical and military. And if you can show that in your profile, that's gonna make you much more likely to be able to get accepted rather than somebody who focused just on one of those pillars. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what you need to do. As far as extracurriculars, there's not one that is better than the other, but I definitely would say try to participate in enough. You don't wanna overwhelm yourself with a bunch of extracurriculars that you can't devote a lot of your time to and be able to make a meaningful contribution but enough, you know, to show that, you know, you're well-versed in different organizations and that you are really committed to whatever extracurricular activity that you are involved in. So hopefully that gives you some ideas and some options to look at and hopefully it makes you a more well-rounded candidate. All right, next question. All right, so this is coming from Rowan. He is from Illinois. So his first question is, were you able to go straight to medical school after graduation or were you required to serve the first five years? If yes, what do you have to do at West Point to take this route? This is a question that is more in particular about students who are interested in going to medical school after West Point. West Point does offer a route where you can go directly to medical school. However, those slots are limited to 2% of your class.
class, roughly 20 to 25 each year. And so if you are accepted into medical school prior to graduation and you receive a scholarship, whether that be the HPSP scholarship or whether that be the Yushu scholarship to the military medical school, you can go directly to medical school after you graduate and then you do your time in the medical field either as a civilian student or a military officer if you decide to go to the military medical school and then you would serve your time after you complete medical school. The time of service accrued is one to one. You go to a civilian school, so if you went to four years of medical school, you would owe four more years on top of your five years owed at West Point to your service obligation. Now, if you were to go to the military medical school, instead of four, you would owe seven on top of the five from West Point making that 12. So hopefully that's not uh, too complicated. I want the answer to be very simple, but uh, yes, yes, you're able to go straight to medical school after West Point. Now, if you're interested in serving some time in the military, you can do that as well. And then you can reapply for the HPSP or Yushu scholarship at a later time. So thanks for the question, Rowan. All right, so this question is from Pegashi from Mongolia. He has an interview with the defense attache and he asks, do you have any tips for my interview and for my personal statement? In these interviews, you're going to want to really show how qualified you are as a competitive candidate for this position. You're really going to want to sell yourself with all your leadership qualities and all the experiences that you've had in the past that make you more competitive than the next candidate. I would suggest rehearsing any personal experiences that show leadership qualities or talk about a time where you had some sort of failure and that you were able to overcome it. Not only West Point but a lot of professional organizations like to see growth and I think the biggest growth is when you fail at something after your failure and you and you learn from your mistakes it shows that you're able to adapt and eventually become a better and more flexible leader and lastly for that question don't forget to be yourself at the end of the day they're gonna want to send somebody to West Point who is going to represent you know that area and they're not gonna want to send a robot Robot. They're going to want to send somebody who has personality, somebody who can communicate effectively and really be able to share their experiences and their knowledge with other people. Somebody that's going to want to learn as much as they can and be able to contribute back to society. Take it lightly. Don't stress out too much about the interviews. Do as best as you can do. Talk about yourself and ultimately really why you want to go to West Point. Don't forget to smile throughout the entire interview and uh, like I said have a really good time with it. Alright so the next question is from Timothy. He's saying that I've been interested in West Point for a while now but my dad isn't really happy with the idea. When you get the chance could you please talk about joining West Point and being a part of the army. I definitely can say starting off, I never intended to go to West Point from an early age. I actually never heard about West Point until I enlisted in the army around 2010. To me, I just kind of grew up knowing I was going to go to civilian college. You know, I'd one day pursue a career in the medical field. I didn't really think about the whole military aspect. And so when the time came up where I had to make a decision whether or not to join the military, I sat down with my mom and the rest of my family kind of talked about what I wanted to do at the time and uh, and what I valued. If you can show your family what motivates you and excites you and what you're passionate about and you have an honest heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them, I think that they will be on board because at the end of the day, I think your parents, they're, they're looking out for you and you're in their best interest and so they're going to support you as long as you have a rational plan, backup plan, and that you're happy make it a priority and, and make it a very important conversation with them. Uh, definitely talk about it with other teachers, mentors, and friends, and I think that would help you figure out what you want to do. As far as the military, what was my experience at West Point and the Army like? There are no two experiences that are the same at West Point. I definitely had the best time of my life at West Point. I wouldn't say it was all sunshine and rainbows the entire time, but it was definitely a learning experience for me. I learned a lot personally, and as an individual and also as a professional. I learned how to communicate more effectively. I learned to be a better team player and, and really learned to look at the big picture 
rather than just be really focused on individual tasks. So West Point really helped me grow in that sense. It really pushed me as far as physical fitness, critical thinking. It really put me in a lot of positions where I kind of had second thoughts. And uh, I think that's, that's good. When you're challenged, that's where you find how far you can push yourself and what kind of person and what kind of potential that you have. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to have gone to West Point. I made so many friends, so many networks, so many mentors. Definitely know that later down the line, just keeping in contact, these people definitely help you within your life, both personally and both professionally. Before you commit yourself to anything, I would say do your research, ask around as much as possible, and really figure out what you're gonna get yourself into because it is a commitment and you're going to want to be able to give 100% every time.